Elsewhere, Director for Cooperatives Nairobi Branch, Delphine Aremo, has emphasized the importance of amending the already existing SACO regulations for transparency and efficiency. Speaking during the 50th anniversary of Saudi SACO, Delphine revealed that a draft of amended clauses by the State Department of Cooperatives had been presented to Parliament and will soon be gazetted. Officiating the event at the Nairobi Hotel, the Nairobi Director for Cooperatives in particular pointed out at the Matatu Circles, which she said was yet to confirm with the Circles regulations. She said through the new bylaws which are before Parliament, PSV Business, PSV business will be renamed from Matatu Circles to Transport Cooperatives. In the year 2021, we had a review of the Cooperative Act. We have the Cooperative Bill before Parliament now. Once concluded, a lot of things are going to change. For example, the role of the county government and the role of the national government has now been clarified. For some time, there was a bit of confusion. For example, when it comes to registration of cooperatives, the county government will do the processing, but the final registration will be done by the Commission of Cooperatives in the national government. The reason behind that is because we do not want to have duplication. That we have one Saudi in Nairobi, another in Kisumu city, another in Nakuru city. We want to have one central point to circles. Through this legislation, they will no longer be referred to as circles. They'll be referred to as transport cooperatives. So that the acronym of circles is left to cooperatives like yours and mine called Shirika. The same will apply to border border circles which we are now registering, the requirement is that they must have a minimum of 100. And we are dealing with the owners the same way we deal with Matatu owners, not the employees. She also noted that the Sarko Society Regulatory Authority, SASRA, had introduced a fraud investigative unit, which would ensure that in case of misappropriation of funds, those responsible will be brought to book. We established a unit within SASRA called Fraud Investigation Unit. In case of misappropriation of the funds of any cooperative, that part of the government will come in and do the needful. The DCI officers have been posted there. Saudi Sako chairman Ellen Dwinga said the organization will soon unveil its customer service charter. The company also announced plans to rebrand and re-strategize in order to respond to the emerging customer needs and demands in the market. And today as we celebrate 50 years, I want to say I am and we are, as a board, a very proud team. Because, and we want to say, we give all the glory to God above everything else. Because the journey to reach where we are today and which we are, which we are articulating and even to be able to celebrate in the style that we are celebrating today, it has taken some sacrifice for all of us, including our members. We decided that we were going to do a rebranding of this circle. It has been there in our strategic plan. And we said, even in the strategic plan, we said we are going to do a rebranding and we do a relaunch. 